Monique from Queer Mac Outdoor School, and today I'm out watching my food grow. So about five weeks ago, I picked up some plants that were already started at the nursery, and now I've been watching them change, and today I'm super excited because I'm noticing that both the tomato and the bell pepper are fruiting. So the fruit is not quite ripe. I'm noticing that it's still green. And tomato is supposed to be red when it's ripe, at least this tomato. This pepper, now I would think, oh, it might be ripe because it's green, but this is a yellow bell pepper. So not quite ready to turn my fruit into a meal, but I do have some others that I will be turning into a meal today. So this is the kale that I picked up from the nursery the same day I picked up the tomato and the bell pepper. Now with kale, you're not waiting for it to get to its fruiting stage. You're simply waiting until the leaves are mature. And then when you harvest, you just go ahead and pluck the leaves from the outer stalk. And these leaves, you can turn into whatever you want. So today, I'm gonna take my mature leaves and turn it into a delicious salad. So I've brought my kale in the house and the first thing I did was wash it. After I wash it, I want to pull all the kale from the stem. So I go ahead and rip it off the stem, tear it into bite-sized pieces, then I leave the stems for the trash or the compost. I've included a couple other ingredients. I have some golden raisins for a little bit of sweetness, and then some pistachios for crunch, and then I have gorgonzola, like blue cheese, for the salty savory. So I'm going to put all of it in a bowl and I have a little bit of dressing that I made with just mustard, some lemon and olive oil and a little bit of honey and I'm going to put the dressing in first and then I will add my toppings. You want to just add the dressing so that it breaks up. Kale's kind of fibrous so you want to break it up and make it a little more tender with your hands. And then you can add all of your toppings. So I have the toppings here. I'm going to add some of those. Then my salad will be exactly how I like it. Now you can do whatever you want with the food that you grow. This is just how I enjoy it. And now my meal is complete.